In this video for positive math, we're going to deal with more problem solving involving percentages. So finding percentages. By now we should be familiar with finding percentages in three different ways. The first example we're going to have a look at is just finding 20% of 168. So we can find them by using fractions. So we're finding 20% of 168 by multiplying 168 by 20 over 100. And this will give us 33.6. We can also find the percentage using decimals. So we're multiplying it by 0 0.20 or just using the percentage itself. So we multiply it by 20%. Now let's look at finding quantities. We must look at the reverse situation where we're given a percentage of a quantity and we must find the full amount. So we could be given, let's say for example, 15% of a quantity and we will need to find the full amount which will be 100%. So, if 20% of a quantity is 150 grams, then how do we find 100%? We follow these two steps. We first find 1%, then we can find 100%. Once we find 1%, we can find any other percentage of the quantity. So, let's look at some problems. 21% of a number is 35. Find the number, so find the whole number. Then find 35% of the number. Okay, so let's start off. We have 21% is equal to 35. We must first find 1%. So 1% is going to be equal to 35 divided by 21. So this will give us 1.667 when we round it to three places. So then 100% is going to be equal to 1.667 multiplied by 100. And we will get 166.7. So that's our first example. We then need to find 35% of the number. So if we're looking for 35%, then it's going to be our 1%, which is 1.667, multiplied by 35, which will give us 58.333. Again, that's rounded to three places. Okay, let's look at part two. 40% of the number, so 40%, is equal to 85 euro. We need to find the full sum of money. So we're looking for 100%. Again, we find 1% first, then we find 100%. So 1% is going to be 85 divided by 40. So we get 2.125. So then multiplied by 100. We're going to get 212.5. And part three. So 85% of the price of a car is 3,768 euro. So again, our 1% is going to be 3768 divided by 85. So rounded to three places is going to be 44.329. So then our 100%, the full price of the car, is going to be 4432.9, which is equal to 4,432 euro and 90 cent. We just want to note that we should always be looking at our units. So if we're given the price, our answers should also be in euro. And we should also, if we notice the last question, like 4432.9, four, 
So we want to make sure that we put it at 0.90. So we're saying that it's 90 cent. We don't just leave it at 0.9. So the la last part four. There is a 33% sale in a clothes shop. Kira bought a top on sale for 26 euro. Find out how much the top cost before the sale. So if we're saying there's a 33% sale, we're usually saying it's 33% off. So what we're saying then is the sale price is going to be 67% of their original value. So 67% we're saying is 26 euro. So again, we want to find 1% first. 26 divided by 67. So this will give us 0 0.388 rounded to three places. And then our 100% is going to be 38.8. .8. So again, this is money, so it's 38 euro and 80 cent it was a full price. For more information, you can find us at www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info at positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook.